What's up people, welcome along to Arsenal Fan TV and we've just beaten Southampton 1-0 at the Emirates in the Barclays Premier League and I couldn't be, I'm over the moon with this result if I'm being honest, the, the performance was shocking, there is no getting away from that, there is no sugar coating that absolutely diabolical performance that Arsenal put in for about 80-85 minutes of that game of sitting, it, it was shocking, no getting away from that. But the three points as we head into this busy Christmas period of the season is absolutely massive for us. And with the likes of United, Liverpool winning, it, it's big for us to get these three points against a very good Southampton side, in all fairness. So I, mean, I know they were going into this game on the back of a 3-0 defeat to City, but I thought they were sturdy tonight. Their defence certainly held up well. Fraser Forster in goal for them was absolutely magnificent. Uh, although saying that... Getting into the Arsenal performance, it was it was so poor, so 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 poor, and it's, it did surprise me in a way because we started with so many attacking, creative players. I thought Cazorla would certainly emulate the performance he's putting in against the likes of West Brom and Dortmund. I certainly don't think he had the, uh, a game of that caliber, but maybe that's due to him playing so many games in such a short period of time. I don't think Danny Welbeck was at the races today. Um, Chamberlain and Sanchez, on the other hand, I thought they were their usual consistent selves, but you can start to tell now that both of these players are playing a lot of games for us, they're having a lot of time on the pitch, and they're starting to burn out a little bit. And going into this stage of the season where we've got a lot of fixtures clustered together, that is a mild cause, uh, cause for concern. I think we've got to start using the squad at some point. We've got to start introducing the likes of Joel Campbell, playing players like Lucas Podolski a little bit more. Otherwise, we're going to overuse the likes of Chamberlain and Sanchez. They're going to burn out and they're going to inevitably get injured. That's what's going to happen. But they were crucial to the team tonight, Lelecki Sanchez especially, for getting the goal. But focusing just away from the team lineup, team lineup for one second, I thought the defensive performance from us was really good. That's the only real positive I can take out of this performance. Like the defensive game was really good. I can only really think of a couple of chances that Southampton created in this game, and that was the Pella chance fairly early on in the game, which he absolutely scuffed. Probably should have scored that past Martinez. Um, and then they had another chance, which Koscielny made an excellent interception there. And Koscielny coming back into the team, you wouldn't think he's been gone for a month or so. He was magnificent tonight. He was absolutely superb. Probably, it probably was my man of the match. He was the most consistent player. He put in some excellent tackles, some excellent interceptions. Never stopped working. He's an absolute workhorse for us. And it's great to see that players like Mertzak are coming out of their shell a bit more when they've got players like Koscielny alongside them. Our defence is very little without Lauren Koscielny. He is so integral to that team. Um, Nacho Monreal signed a left back. Uh, just talking about that very briefly, I think he had a good defensive game. No getting away from that. I thought uh, credit due to him, he was good in the defensive department. Made some excellent runs tracking back. Going forward, I don't think he offers as much as Kieran Gibbs does. And I think this is a reason why maybe our creativity was a little bit hindered, especially in that first half. Because Gibbs offers so many runs going forward, which Monreal just, he, he doesn't really do that. Um, Monreal's crossing, though, on, on the other hand, is fairly decent, but he doesn't make the same kind of runs. He doesn't have the pace that someone like Kieran Gibbs does. I think the prime example of that was when Danny Welbeck played a ball into absolutely nowhere, expecting Monreal to be behind him, and Monreal just, um, his movement was a bit poor, but like I said, his defensive game was good, and that's all he really had to do in this game. But the first half was, it, it's hard to say, it was one of the worst performances that I've seen from Arsenal this season in, in quite a good few games actually, it was so, so, so poor. As little as Southampton did in the game, we did very little going forward as well. It wasn't really that, you know, we had bad players out there or Southampton were playing poorly, it was just that we just lacked creativity and imagination. I mean, it's horrible when you've got a player like Ramsey bombing forward and then he'll stop, look around for a few seconds and then he'll pass it back to Mertzak. That was the reoccurring theme for a majority of that first half. And there was also another tactic that we continued to use, and that was playing out to the left-hand side and crossing it in, which absolutely nothing came of, because we were closed down so quickly. I mean, how many times do certain players, I mean, Cazorla and Sanchez do this an awful lot. They try to beat the same man about four or five times. They'll pivot the guy, spin around him, and then they'll go back and do it again. It wastes time, it's pointless, and it kind of gets us nowhere, but it looks good in the moment, so you know what, might as well carry on with it. But yeah, I mean, um, the first half was, was like I've already said it quite numerous times, I, I, don't, I don't really know if there's too many talking points in it really because we were just so poor. I, I think in all honesty it was one of the worst performances I've seen from Arsenal this season. But going into that second half, I mean, I was going to come out with something positive there, but there weren't really many positives to say going into that second half. For about 5-10 minutes we looked like we were going to turn up the tempo, but we didn't really do that. And it just slowly rejuvenated the performance that we were having in the first half. It was very slow, very lethargic just passing it around the back side but it really reminded me of the kind of football that we were playing when we had the likes of Johan de Juru in the side and we are playing it from left to right, left to right, left to right, hoping for a lucky break, crossing it in on occasion. That's exactly what it was, the 2011-12 kind of football we were seeing. 
I wouldn't have expected that now. And Cazorla, um, Cazorla Sanchez, it changed. There, there, there wasn't a lot of creativity. A lot of that had to do with people being overplayed. That's the only thing that we've got to delve into the squad, like I've said already, and start, start introducing new players into the game. I think that was kind of made evident when the likes of Giroud and Podolski entered the game. We looked a lot more fresh going forward. And that's certainly got to be a learning curve for Wenger. He's got to change things up a little bit. And... Um, I mean, it didn't really look like we were going to make the breakthrough in that second half, which was a bit concerning. And the lack of urgency as well. I mean, I would have expected a bit more motivation from, from the Arsenal players. I would have expected a lot more urgency. I mean, with 10 minutes to go or whatever, that's when they started to, to you know, really turn it up. But then again, why aren't they doing that from the very first minute of the game? I don't expect them to be going full blast from the first minute to the last. But it, it would be good to see them up the tempo a little bit more, give it, a, give it their own spice the game up a bit. Because I think that's what we're really guilty of, not... Not playing fast, fluid football at times. And that's that's frustrating to see because that's what we're so renowned for. But we did get a goal, fortunately, through Alexis Sanchez. I think a lot of credit actually has to go to Aaron Ramsey for this one. I think Aaron Ramsey, abysmal performance tonight. But this assist, it was certainly good. He beat off about three men and then crossed the ball into Alexis Sanchez to make it 1-0 in the dying stage of the game. Sealing off crucial three points for us. But highlighting a couple of players that I thought were a bit off tonight. Um, Aaron Ramsey especially, like I said, got the assist. It was a really good assist on his behalf and a lot of credit had to go to him there, but he was awful tonight. There's no no getting away from the fact that he was absolutely abysmal. Some of the shots he was making, his his persistence to try and get on the scoreboard is getting so frustrating. Now, there are times when he gets into positions where he could play it into someone like Welbeck or Giroud or whatever, and then he just he blazes it about 20 feet wide. It's pointless doing that. He's got to be a little less selfish. He's got to simplify his game a lot more. Arguably one of the worst performances I've seen from him this season. It's one of the worst performances I've seen from him in a good long while. But players that I thought played well, I mean, there are a lot of people that I could pick out in this game. Emiliano Martez in goal. It's his third clean sheet in a row for Arsenal now. He's certainly got to be happy with that, and he's going to be thinking he can contend for the number one spot, which he certainly can. I thought he played really well tonight. His distri distribution has improved. His handling has improved. He looks. He does look a little bit shaky at times, but it's good to know you can have a faith in this guy as our third choice keeper. I mean, to have a third choice keeper of that quality is absolutely great to have on the side. The defence as a whole, I think credit's got to go to all of them because they kept Southampton quiet. They kept the likes of Tadic, Pella, Mane quiet throughout the course of the game. So credit has to go there. Koscielny obviously is the standout player there. Like I've already mentioned, it was great to have him back in the team. But I could go on about Koscielny all day. He's, He's that much of an exciting player to watch. Um, but, I mean, other players I, I thought were a bit off in the game. Certainly Danny Welbeck, I don't think he was at his best. I think he had a good op couple of opportunities to score. He had a good opportunity in about the first 10 minutes. And he had a good opportunity when Giroud put him through. Um, but I don't, I don't really want to be too negative on tonight's performance. Because there are a lot of positives to take out from it. But then again, equally, there are quite a few negatives. But let's just enjoy the three points. Let's just enjoy, um, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy another win. It's three on the bounce now. Like I said, positive that can be taken from tonight. Giroud played really well when he came on again. Podolski looks really good when he came on. And you know, we can go into that game against Stoke with a lot of confidence behind us. But I absolutely hate that fixture against Stoke. And I honestly think it's going to be very difficult for us to clinch all three points in that game. Because it is just such a... Oh, it's a horrible fixture. But um, those have been my thoughts, really, on this evening's victory over Southampton. If you've enjoyed the video, then be sure to give it a like rating. Subscribe to Arsenal Fan TV. Be sure to check out my own channel as well, AFC Game by Game. And generally, thank you for watching, guys. We've teamed up with Football Fanager again to give you our weekly Football Fantasy League competition. This week, you can win this. An Arsenal top signed by Per Mertesacker, David Ospina, Olivia Giroud and Steve Bold. All you've got to do is enter the competition. The link is below. Enter your team. I'm still vexed about last week because I didn't win it. A guy won that top last week. Who is going to win this? Enter now. Link below.